Hey boo! So if you're new here, I'm Brittany. I am the wifey of our Happily Ever Alphan duo. Um, thank you guys so much for following us. I don't think I've ever sat down on this platform and said thank you or even sat in this kind of nature and talked to y'all, but I'm talking to the ladies today. So if you're not a lady, go ahead and skip past this. Okay, so now it's just for the ladies. I got a story to tell y'all, so stick with me. So I have a friend who's married. She's been married for a while and they have a son together. And the one thing that she's constantly asking me advice on is how do you keep holding on? <laughs> like, how did you get to this place in your marriage? Because she's known me for forever. She's seen, you know, our progression, me and Bae's progression from being in high school together all the way through being together, kids, marriage, all of that. So she understands why this point in our marriage is so significant. But the one piece of advice that I don't think I've ever given to her that I'm now going to extend to all of my ladies is you have to define your value. And I don't mean defining your value as in this is what I like. These are my standards. Mm, that's really low vibrational because that oh, that changes what you require changes as your marriage progresses your standards your requirements change now what i will say is your value doesn't when you value yourself as a human being as a woman as a mother as a wife uh, as a daughter whatever role that you play when you value yourself outside of that role first just as a this single human being and then you move on to the roles that you play you start to see how different people treat you and to use my own marriage as an example prior to my weight loss journey I allowed my husband to treat me exactly how I valued myself and what I mean by that is I didn't require too much of him because I didn't require much for myself i didn't require much of myself the moment that i pivoted my value and the moment that i defined my value and let him know no this and not with my mouth not with my nagging but just let him know no this is how i want to be treated and i started treating myself that way i started valuing me he started to see, okay, I need to change my pockets. I need to move a little bit differently because I got a, I got a trophy and I can't come to this trophy with crumbs. I can't come to this trophy subpar because there's going to be somebody else that comes and gives her more. There's going to be somebody else that comes that sees her value and I don't want to lose that because she's valuable to me. That's how you get to this stage in your marriage. When you know your value, when you uh, communicate your value to your partner and when you're so concrete in that that it starts to generate the standard for your marriage the standard for how you want to be treated the standard for how you govern yourself as a woman and a man will see that and be like oh okay so we're moving this way so we're doing this yes that's how that's how we're living and it's not with your nagging ladies it's literally just with you taking a stance internally and letting that reflect externally i hope this helped thank you